Hey, thanks for stopping by, uh, checking out my gig bag. This is Bruce Garris. I'm with the Calypso Poets. We're a band based out of Wilmington, North Carolina, and Wrightsville Beach. So here's what my gig bag looks like. It's actually a fishing tackle box type bag that I got at Walmart. It's made by a company called Shakespeare. You can see, uh, I guess, Ugly Stick is a kind of fishing rod. It was about $23 or so at Walmart. But it's pretty heavy duty. It's water resistant, which is kind of nice if you got expensive pedals and stuff in there. Uh, and it's got tons and tons of pockets, just right on the outside. That first front pocket, I keep the tool that I use the most: a string winder and a snip for changing strings. And uh, on the side pockets, I keep the strings, which you'll see here in just a minute. It's got a nice front flap, again, sort of water resistant, and a big front pocket which holds all kind of stuff. And uh, then it's got this big main compartment. The main compartment is a fishing bag. It had a bunch of little plastic uh, fishing lure holders and stuff, but uh, I pulled those out, just use it as it is. In the very front pocket, I keep sort of a multi-tool uh, and a battery charger. I use some stuff that uses AA batteries, uh, just little extra small uh, cables there. On one of the two side pockets, uh, I keep extra strings uh, some sets of strings and then spares, uh, some fretboard conditioner and just knick-knack kind of stuff that you need, extra picks, things like that. And then uh, on the other side, uh, I keep extra cables. I keep just an extra quarter-inch cable. Um, I use a pod a Line 6 device and I keep an extra USB cable for that. There's also a nice little inside pocket which you can put things in. Um, I, I put stuff in there from time to time. Just another spare quarter inch cable. That's a pig nose amp and then I've got a couple of boss pedals that fit in there. Uh, tons and tons of space in this bag. Uh, you'll see as it sort of unpacks it sort of fills up the whole couch with everything that's in there. It's a great little practice gig. Um, I can take the two boss pedals and the pig nose and play through pretty much any amp in any practice setting or even run it into a PA system. Those two little plastic uh, divider section things came with the bag and they were made to hold, I guess, fishing lures and hooks and whatnot. They have little movable divider slots. So I put stuff in there, of course, that suits my guitar playing needs. Uh, I've got an extra volume pot, uh, some double-sided tape, uh, some Rolling Rock beer labels. I, I play a Rolling Rock branded uh, Telecaster. Uh, extra tips and a screwdriver, uh, zip ties, a string winder, all kinds of stuff in there. Then on the other side, I have extra parts. I played a Fender Strat and uh, got extra picks of all kinds. Uh, some Allen wrenches, extra cables, knobs, uh, nine volt batteries, springs, uh, button ends, just that kind of stuff. And not that I would use all that stuff on any given day or night at a gig, but you got to put all that stuff somewhere. And I'd rather just keep it all uh, in one place. Then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I carry around probably more than I need. Uh, some of that stuff I'll never use, but it's got to go somewhere and it's better there than in a drawer in the kitchen. Uh, the back pocket of this bag. Uh, he's got a nice little mesh thing, and again, I keep all the little manuals and brochures and warranty cards and stuff from all my guitars. When I travel, I take all that stuff out. It's usually in a plastic bag, but again, you got to keep all that stuff somewhere. So at least, just as a general rule, if I ever need a, a manual for something, I know where to find it. So here's some pictures of what it looks like. Again, it's got a generous amount of space for 20 bucks. Uh, it's really not too bad. You could do a lot worse. Uh, I know there are a lot of companies that sell specialty gig bags and you can pay 80 hundred bucks for something like that but this bag has been really practical it's useful it's heavy duty and like i said it's water resistant so anyway spend 20 bucks get a great bag and uh thanks for watching